Okay, we're cool. Okie doke. Got it. All right. Y'all ready? Yep. So first off, if you want to spotlight me, I'll show them the cards that we're going to make. So I put you on speaker view. Okay. Then, Hold on. I'll oh. spotlight me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got it. Okay, wait. I'll do it. Spotlight for okay. everyone. There you go. There you go. Okay. So I want to show y'all these. These these are the two that I've already made. And this can be, you can do this with with several different. I'll show you what images work best. You're gonna you're gonna show us down low, aren't you, on your other cameras? So <gasps> oh yes. Let me let me swap cameras because it, it works better that way. Uh And we're all out of whack again. How did that happen? I don't know. What was it? What did I do? Okay. Here we go. So, can y'all see it upside? Is yeah. it right? It's right side up and it's not back. Okay. So, this is on a five by seven card. And put it down a little bit towards your stomach. There you go. Okay. See how that little bird's flying? You see the bird flying? Oh. Yeah. Sun flashing. Yeah. Nice. No. So she's going to be teaching you about print and cut here and different mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And so I have one more. And this one, like I said, I put on a card base. This other one, you don't have to put it on a card base. If you don't want to put these on a card base, you can put your message on the back. And here goes this one. You see the little puppy chasing the butterfly? Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Really cute. Yeah. <sighs> so here we go again. All right. So now I'll come back because I've got to start my software. Well, it don't matter. I can do it from here, can't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure I can. Share screen. I'll tell you when we see it. It's coming. See it? It's not. It's coming in. It says, oh. yep, there it is. Okay, so we see the pull, pull, pull tabs. Yeah, that's because I'm in the here and that ain't where I want to start. So... The first thing I want to show you is these are called sprite images. And this is what you're going to look for if you want to if you want to make the move them, the ones that move. It's called lenticular. That's the kind of card it's called. A lenticular card. So you can the best place I found to find these is to go to Google and ask it. You creative fabrica don't really have that many. So let's see. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna come off and I'm gonna let you show them them that you just found. Okay. Because I think I think those are really good. Okay. So I'm gonna stop my share and you can show them yours. Your where you found okay. those. Okay. So I just went in and I guess, I don't even remember what I typed in. Tam oh, wait, I typed in the word right, right, right here. Mm -hmm. And Tammy said sometimes she types in the exact, like a Sprite bunny or a Sprite dog. Or yes. something. I mm -hmm. just typed in Sprite and you get all of these. These little guys are kind of cute here on the right. The, I don't know what they are. Like, these little, little, oh, these are cute. The little lambs, if you see over here on the left-hand side. And I just messed with one and I thought it came from here, but I'm not sure. There's a bunch of them. Let's see. Maybe it was down further. But anyway, these are the guys that you find. And Tammy's going to show you after you find them, what do you do with them? Oh, it's a cute little Boy Scout thing. I know, but I'm looking for that one that I just did. Yeah. Cute for Father's Day, but I'm not exactly sure where I found it. So. Anyway, you would just go through some of these work, Tammy will tell you, and some don't work very well. Here's some little puppy dogs. These would probably work okay. Yeah, those would work good. Yeah. 
But anyway, these are the kind of images that you use. Oh, and while I'm showing, while I'm sharing, I might as well, let's see if I still have it up here. Let's see. Okay, well, let's see. I'm going to share. Or not. Share. It should say new share and you just I know, it. but it's not letting me even do okay. I just stopped my share. Okay, so I'm gonna do a share one more thing with you guys. Let's unspotlight me for now. That uh, spotlighted. Go ahead. Do you see it? That's okay. fine. Yeah. All right. So this is yeah, like the hand that I did. And you can see he's kind of walking, flapping his arms. Mm -hmm. It could be like a Father's Day something or something. But the one I really wanted to show, that's this is the guy I used. <laughs> um oh. <laughs> I love I, I want to see if I have one more. Let's see, how can I move all this junk? Open child tripping, <laughs> and then I'll give up. <laughs> Let's see, cartoon character, puppy card. Just uh all right, I might have had it on the same puppy card one. I did not. Okay, so anyway, we'll skip what I was going to show you. I like to bird watch, and so I had one that was a pileated woodpecker, if you happen to know what those are. And so I had one of those that really kind of flew across the screen cool, nicely. So, okay, right, we're back. So, to we're back to me, and I'm going to go back to Silhouette Studio. So, after you find your image, you're going to need to use this grid. Oh, y'all see the grid, right? You see the blue. Can you see this, this thing that's on top, this black grid? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay, I'm going to show you how to make that. Because you have to use this not only on the front of the car, but you have to use this to make the turn the sprite image into the, the sprite image so, the, so it'll work, so you'll have animation. So let's see. Here we go. So you want to take a a piece mine's five by seven and and i'm not sure i haven't done a different size but i think the five by seven turns out pretty good so you want to take one rectangular that is five by seven then what i've done is i come up here to the x and y because i want to center my card i want to put it up here so i don't know how big I want the inside to be. And I need to move y'all so I can see. And I wonder if you turn off the cut border because that's making a little red line. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I, I want it on. I need it. Oh, you do? I'll show you why. Okay. So, because um, I normally do cut it off, but. Okay. So then you want to go over here and we're going to do an internal offset. I want that internal offset to be, and, and you don't have to put it in the corner to do it, but I want it to be a half inch. There we go. Then I always, some, I mean, it normally comes in centered, but just to make sure I always click it anyway. And I'm going to make that inside one, which I should have colored it first, make it easier. I'm going to turn it a different color so I can see. And I don't want it red. Let's make it blue. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is grab both of those and I'm going to subtract it. It didn't matter what color. That's not where I needed the color. So then I'm going to take and, and make this, you want it to be, I have it in the notes, but I think the other one is like 0.63, but 0.6163. That's that's about the width you want it to make your little uh, stripes across there. And you're going to take it and put it up here. And you don't want to put one there because if you do, it'll cut out that. So you want the first one, you want to move. And you've got to make them long enough that they come all the way to the bottom. So you're kind of eyeballing the width of that stripe to move it away from the frame? Yeah. I mean, you can be technical if you wanted to uh -huh. and, and do it exactly a quarter of an inch or, or an eighth of an inch or whatever. But 
I don't. I just stick it right there because it's all turned. Mm -hmm. So now this is the easiest way I found to do it. It's a little tedious, but it works. So you want to come over here to the replicate panel. And show us that. Where is it? That's the puzzle panel. It's right here. It's the okay. It looks To me, it looks like a flying cigar. <laughs> yeah. <I'll... laughs> there you go. And so you open this up. And what I do is don't do like I do and get busy. Uh, click, 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 because you'll have them all the way to the end of the world. So <laughs> it's lagging because... <laughs> that's why like, when you get to click click clicking because it's lagging <laughs> yeah you'll probably see what we're talking about because it'll just keep making more and more and more off the edge of the paper <laughs> i'm trying to go slow so it don't do it because i'm bad about clicking it real fast and i get too many I think that's enough. Huh, perfect. <laughs> ah, good deal. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take, and you know what? I made them black. Let's see if I can get a color that will show it better. So I'm going up here, and I'm going to choose by color because it would be a whole lot easier than trying to click on each one of them. And I'm going over here to by fill. And I'm going to click the black and I'm going to change it to, let's change it to blue. There we go. Now I'm going to blow it up so y'all can see it better. And I can see it better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these out. So I'm going to, I'm going to delete, skip and delete. And like I said, but once you have one of these made, you never got to make another one. Now you see why I needed my cut line on. Because without the cut line, you would couldn't see where to click. Actually, I don't know why you need the cut line on still. I can show you. I can show you why. Oh, I just had the outer. No, no, that's not what I meant. Not that. What I was saying was on the page setup to turn off the outer cut line. Oh. You know oh, my. You know how it has the cut lines or the uh, um, yeah around that rectangle line. right yeah yeah no i know you need those I, cut lines. I normally have mine off mm -hmm. because i like the way it looks without them right so i turn them off normally but it's just this one thing i wanted to make sure they were on mm. i'm almost there uh-oh mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, that's too much now I what, what I did when I was doing it Tammy and maybe this is what you do I moved that one over as far as I wanted it to be from the edge and then you know how you select them all okay so I move that uh -huh. one to the right was what I did there we go oh, okay that'll work duplicate it you what did you do well, I didn't do that. I didn't add another one in there. What I did was I just moved the last one that was there all the way to why the it, I wanted it. Why is it so much redder than the rest of them? I don't know. Is there two of them? Uh, no. Uh, oh, that's weird. Yeah. All right. So next, what I'm going to do, once I see where my thing to lower it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab them all like this and weld them together.
and then I'll turn the whole thing black. And if you wonder why I've got them black, when you uh, when you make this thing light colored grids, it doesn't show up good. You you can't see the movement good. So it really works better with a dark one. I tried it, and you can you can always make a frame and put around the outside of the thing if you want a different color. But I tried that too. In fact, I have a card that has holographic on the outside if I didn't throw it away yeah. um, that I could show you that the black just works better for it. So now, now we got our grid made. Uh, there's a little thing that I put in the side right here so you can easily grab the inside. And all I done to make it was come over here and get, get the get a circle. And I know that this is five inches. Let me see. That thing's in the way and it makes me all right. Let's just do this. There we go. So I know this is five inches. So what I do is I just come over here and grab me a ruler and I come down to two and a half and that should be the center right there. And then I grab my little circle and I figure out how big I want that groove. And, and keep in mind that you've got to put tape there. So you definitely don't want to put this way over here and then you don't have no room to tape it to the acetate because this piece tapes to the acetate when you get it made. So I put it, I think that's about where I have it right there. And then you just grab that and hold your shift key down, get that and come over here to your modify panel and subtract it and you've got your little your little groove and so now we'll go over here and of course you know if you're going to make the bird let's move all this out of the way or better yet let me copy him and paste him where I made the grid. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So we're going to bring that bird over here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is trace and detach him. So she's up in the threshold, so she'll get more yeah. in it. Any day now. There we go. And I'm going to show you something new. I don't know if it's just since I updated this, that this or if how long this has worked. But when you get through, after you've traced and detached, if if you hit um, release compound path, watch what it does. You see the boxes around there? What it done is it traced and detached them too. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you have a really good image. So a lot of times after I do that, I delete the ones I just traced and detached and I get them from there. So the next thing you want to do is to make sure that the ones you choose, the size you make, because once you size them and cut them down, you cannot resize them. So you need to remember, once you have transformed these into an animation, you cannot resize them because it will mess them up if you do. So let's get this one on the top and this one here. I think those two work good. So you want them to fit inside there, but you want them to be big enough that you can see them. So I'm going to grab both of these together and make them a little bit bigger. Now let's go in there and see what it looks like. I'll bring that to the front. 
he kind of looks like he's flying without any help. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? His wings. <laughs> All right. So now here comes the fun part. So you always want to take your grid, hold your finger on the alt key, and you want to make you some. Because you do not want to delete your last one and have to make it over again. So what we're going to do, we're not going to use these, so I'm going to get rid of them. Move this to the side. You want to take your image and you want to take your grid and put it over your image. And make sure your image is in the back. It's in Make sure your image is to the back and your grid is on top. Grab both of them, go back to the modify panel and subtract. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna group them. You're gonna move him to the side <clears throat> and you're gonna grab your next image. You're gonna grab your grid. Just to be sure, I always click on it and say bring to the front because I want my grid on top. Grab both of them and subtract. And be sure immediately to group it together. Okay, I'm going to pull this over here, but I'm going to blow it up so you can see better. So we have both images. Now, what I've learned to do is to find something that I want to uh, kind of line up. So what I want is that tail. And, and this is important. You don't put them on top of each other. You put the second bird between the white lines. Mm -hmm. You see what I've done? Mm -hmm. You don't line them up like this. They have to go between oh, okay. these lines. Then you want to group those together. And this is what you're going to do a print and cut with. But you got to have the 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 paper behind it. So let's Ooh. come back down. So let's go back over here. So you're going to need, you're going to need your, your grid, a piece of acetate, and this. Okay. So I'm just going to ungroup it. And you cannot resize that after it's done. That's really important. Don't resize the, the thing. Even the paper, you can resize the paper behind it if you take it away from the images. So this piece of paper is 6.4 by 3.8. And I'm just going to copy it and take it to the page where our birds are. If I can find them again. <sighs> there they are. <laughs> and then I'm going to paste that piece of white there and it it looks bigger because I got it blowed up and I'm going to send that to the back so the next thing I'm going to do is line up where I want him and what I have found is is because you want the movement you know because it's only a five by seven card you want to put the bird or the image as close to the edge as you can get it so you have room when you pull it that it has more room to move so i did the same thing with the sun the hearts are really fun and and if you didn't want to go look for an image you can use hearts or whatever so let's take and do a heart and put on here with this so i gotta move it out of the way again let's see if you go down here, you can find a heart in here. There it is. Grab it. And I don't know why they make it sideways. But it... So let's take the heart. Make it about like this. And you can make it any color you want it, even patterns. You can put a pattern on it. Let's do that. Let's put a pattern on it. I should have got a pretty pattern because I, I, I'm not really good. At, I don't save a lot of patterns. I just grab me whatever I want and bring it in and use it with that image and then get rid of it. But you can always 
We'll just use that. And then what we'll want to do is make us another one and make it smaller and make it a different color. There we go. Now, so what we got to do with this is the exact same thing we've done with the other. So let's move the bird and the paper out of our way. Go down so I can find me a grid. And the same thing, we're going to take this, bring this to the front, and we're going to subtract it. Go to the modify panel and subtract it. And then we're going to group it. Then we're going to move it to the side and do the same thing. I'm getting low on grid, so I'm just going to hit that alternate key and grab me a different one. I'm going to do the same thing to the little one. Subtract and group. Then we're going to bring this in. And we're going to line it up to where those white pieces in that back one show through the white on the little one. I'm going to group it together. Now we got another object to put on there with our bird. Don't really match, but it's just to show you. I'm gonna put this here. Bird back down here. And another thing you wanna make sure that you never take your image, any of the images and hang them off of this piece of paper. Cause when you go to cut it, if you do, it's gonna cut weird. It's going to cut through the thing and everything. You want to make sure that you've got all your pieces of the bird has to be all the way on. Don't let no little pieces hang off. Okay. So now we'll grab one of the grids and put it over here. Well, first what we need to do is to group all that together. And then... We'll bring the grid to the front. So here we go. So we want to try it out. We'll. Did I put the white back there? I thought so. Must not have. No, I didn't. There it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, there it is. Oh, when I turned the uh, lines off, I couldn't see it no more. So I'm going to turn them back on for now. We'll turn them off in a minute. So, why won't it let me grab it? Still can't see the line. I think you need to There move. it is. There it is right there. Yeah, I didn't have it down far enough. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to change this ungroup. And I'm going to move that hard over because you're really not going to see it much if I don't. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll group it again. Then... There we go. Now we'll see. There we go. <laughs> see, see how the heart pulse? Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bird flying. <laughs> okay. So next we have... Um, like I said, you're going to need two pieces of this, and I'll show you. And these are just five by seven with the inside cut out and just three-sided. It's really easy to make that. Let's see. Let me make one real quick for you. I think two was where we was working. So move this out of the way. So we want to get a five by seven. And then I'm going to move it up to the top again. And I'm going to go to the internal offset. 
And since I already done one at five, it's still at five. And I just forgot what I was doing. <laughs> You're making those <laughs> little uh, research. Oh, yeah. Forms. Oh, yeah. Then I, yeah, okay. All right. So you want to subtract out the middle. So really, what you could do is make that middle, the five That's by true. seven, like true. this to the end yep. and then subtract it. That's easier. And this is all you have to do. And you have it. And you need two of those. You need two of those. And if you're going to do... If you're going to do yours and not put it on a card and make it the card and write on the back, you're going to need a back piece. So in order to get that back piece, put my grid back and grab me a copy of the grid. And so in order to get it, all I do is I release the compound path, grab everything, right click, and weld. And there's your back piece that will go behind all that. And you're going to need a piece of acetate. And the acetate is going to be glued or not glued. You don't want to use glue with acetate, but I use that red tape. And you, you're going to glue the acetate to the back of this. So the acetate needs to be, grab another rectangle. The acetate needs to be, let's see. It's got to come over that way. Bring it in. Right there. So I wouldn't make the acetate no bigger than 6.5 by 4.6. Because here's the thing about the acetate. You can't have it come out on the side because it'll show. But the other thing is, is when you put the tape on, you don't want it to, you don't want to put the tape on to where it's going to come through here because then it'll be sticky on that side of your card. So I would make the acetate, I made it on mine, all of mine. I made it about 6.5 by 4.6 and that'll be big enough for that. So now I can show you how to put this thing together. Let's see. And of course, the thing with the butter, or the bird and the heart, she would print and cut that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, do print and cut on this. So remember, for those of you that are new, to do the print and cut, show them what you need to turn on, Tammy. Okay. So let's make my screen back the size. There we go. So, of course, you want to go to your um, your media setup, and you want to make sure that you have it on letter. It'll be eight and a half by 11. And you want to go to the third tab over and turn it on. So, you see where I've got mine at? It can't stay there. It can't be up in that grid. You can turn on, on the uh, first page, you can't, on the first tab right here, you can turn on your print border so it'll show you where to print, but I never bother with that. I usually just do the cut border, so I'll know not to get it past the cut border, because I know the printer's going to print eight and a half by 11, so it can. So then you just go there and send it to your printer. And you do not have to mirror it. You just no, that. you do not. Even if you're doing words, you do not mirror it. And words actually look pretty good on here without doing anything to them. You don't have to chop them up. Um, put, put one word on there and let them. Well, there you go. There's your mm -hmm. flat tie. See if, you know, on this card that I made. So. I put fly high, but it's not. Yeah, go back. Go back. I think we um, ungrouped all that, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm going to move that so I can. So like I said before, make sure that you don't let this hang over because on one of mine, I didn't think about it. My son was up here. Then when you go to cut it, it's going to cut all that and cut into your, your white piece and you don't want that. Ooh, yeah. So make sure that you put all the pieces and I've done the sun the same way as everything else. I just traced it and put it through the grid and, and made it. But the fly high is just, you know, I just done different colors and I didn't do anything else to them. So here we go. And see, they still look kind of like they're moving. Mm -hmm. even though they're just, you know, it's just font. There we go. So now let's go to um, down here and let's put this card together. Oh, one other thing. Let me go back. I forgot something. Let me sh show you one more thing that you're going to need. You're going to need, if you might have seen these four little pieces I have right here. They are, huh, let me ungroup them. That's the wrong size. I think they're a half an inch. Yeah, they're a half an inch by half an inch square. You're going to need two that's acetate and two that's cardstock. And I'll show you why. But you're going to need two, two cardstock and two acetate. Um, right. Yes, I have a couple quick questions because I've never done anything with paper or cards or anything. Mm -hmm. Your talk about acetate is that like mylar? I don't know what acetate. Yeah. Is. Uh, mylar's a lot thicker. Um, do you know when you get a package with something in it, it's got that plastic on top, that clear on top? A lot of people use it. Here, I'll show you. Hold on a second. I'll show you. Let me stop the share. Sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, that's not. Here we go. Can you? Well, hold on a second. Let me change cameras. You got some, Johnny? Unmute yourself. Johnny's going to show you. Okay. There she is. Unmute yourself. I did. Okay. <laughs> this is from, uh, I just got out of an auction thing, but it uh, okay, our it's, got, it's like a clear film. Um, yes. Okay. This is perfect for cards. Um, can you maybe put that in the chat? The name sure. of what that is or something. Sure. Okay. Yeah, and you can look on Amazon. They have. Yeah, I'll order it there, but I don't know what I'm. And then the other thing was when you grouped the you grouped the white with your um prints you know like the, bird the images stuff. yeah <laughs> did you group them before you cut them or no okay. no you group them after you do the grid let me go back to the silhouette okay sorry i just I no what's that you're sorry that's what class is for <laughs> don't worry about it so here we go so so what was the question i'm not sure she wanted to know if I grouped group these before I cut them. I did not. I did not. So let me go get a, one of the puppies because I got a stack of puppies right here and butterflies. So here's the little puppies. Let me show you what I done with them. I'm gonna copy that and open up a new page and paste it. And so, of course, we got to trace them real quick. And up the, the threshold until you get a good trace. There we go. And hit trace and detach. There we go. Then release the compound path and get a good trace. <laughs> I'm addicted to that. They turn out really cute, though. Um, so we want two of them. The first thing I would do is grab all of them and flip them horizontal because I want them running the other way. Okay. Yeah. So now 
Let's see. Let's use him and which one? This one? Yeah, those two will work. I want to delete all these. Now, let me go back over here and grab me a grid. You don't want to make the grid again? Well, I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I know. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to size them the size we want because like I told you this is really important do not size these things after you've chopped them up because they will not work if you do you want to ask me how I know <laughs> <laughs> that's big enough oh, yeah. so now you want to move one to the side and take the other one hold down your alt key and grab your grid and then all you want to do is grab both of them. Always make sure that grid's in the front. Uh, it don't always matter. I mean, I have done it and it worked in the other way around. And then it it's messed up. So the safest thing to do is make sure you always bring the grid to the front. And then you'll get it right. So grab both of these. Come over here to your modify, modify panel and okay. subtract. And then this is when you group it. Always group it because you got all those little pieces. Okay. Now move him to the side and grab your little dog that's squatting down. Better make another grin. Ah, thank you, Pam. Mm -hmm. Bring it over. Make sure it's in the front. And go to the modify panel and subtract. And that's when you group. And like I said before, you all, when you bring them together, let me blow it up some so you can see it good. When you bring them together, pick you a spot that you want to line up, whether it's his head or whatever. But I, I tend on these to do his tail. You want to make sure that one of the second dog or the, it does, does, does it really matter which one, but you want to make sure that they're opposite, that they're not in the same little track. Show that them one, like if it was in the same track. Okay. This is what it looks like if you lined them up and, right. and yeah. let me get my grid and I'll show you how it don't work that way. Watch it work, but it don't <laughs> Okay. You see how his feet's not moving? Right. Yeah. He's not working. So what you've got to do is you, you've got to get in there. And like I said, I always try to line his little tail up and put that inside the, this one inside those white lines. So if you, if you uh, grab both of them, could you use center? Or that would not no, work? No, I don't think so because I don't, okay, I'm just, not I'm sure. Curious. That's a good question. Yeah, no, yeah. That's love. So if you center nope. it, that's what it's going to do. Yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. You have okay. to you have to line it up yourself, but you okay. also you also want to have to make sure that it's not centered, that it's opposite of each other. And well, like there's true. a little tail right there. And so I try to aim for something. Patty done one earlier and she she lined up the head. That'll work too. So I lined up his head that time right there. And so then what you want to do is group those together. And then let me come down so I can find the grid. Put him on the grid and off he goes. Oh, Watch him run. There he goes. <laughs> Go puppy. <laughs> so what, what paper do you use for to print and cut that on then? I just use, uh, if, you, if I don't know if you're familiar with it, but Patty Ann's got an Amazon shop. And inside that shop, it's got the paper, the paper we normally use. Uh, I can't think right away the name it of it. Nina? Was it the Nina? It, yeah, it's Nina. We do the index, Nina index. It's eight and a half by 11 white. And it's the most reasonably priced one on there. And it works perfect for printing. It's not too thick, but it's still a good size, you know, nice to a good white. thickness. That's what I was but I, I, how thick it's huh? supposed to be. How thick this cardstock's supposed to be. I 
you know. Well, you have different sizes, but I will tell you this. I The real thick stuff won't go through my printer. So what I've done on mine is I printed this. Then I took my thick cardstock and cut the same size down. And then I glued the two together. Okay. So if you don't have thick cardstock, you might want to take your cardstock and glue a couple of pieces to it because you do want this thick because if you make it too thin, it's going to wear out real quick when they pull it out. Okay. So, but I used 110 pound and glued it to this. And the, uh, do you remember the uh, weight of that, Patty Ann? No, I don't, but I can look because I think I have the package. Okay. There's still... I love the bird, but I just love this little dog. I could the see the littler, my littler grandkids really liking this. I wanted, to, I bought some magnets actually because I wanted, and I tried to figure out what weight cardstock I need because I wanted to make some uh, bookmarks that fold mm -hmm. over, you know, those. Yeah. Those the thing, the thing, there, there's different weights. And really, instead of looking at the weight, if you really want, heavier look at the gsm that's this one's gsm is or g yeah g slash m squared is 199 yeah that's 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 pretty reasonable you you could use that we use it to make card backgrounds i print on it and everything and i've got the heavier card stock too that i use sometimes to do back to do uh the base the card bases and stuff so it just depends so, Patty Ann, do you have, like, uh, the brand and stuff? Do you have yes, that I'm going to get it for you. I'll get you a link. I think it's Nina, right? Yeah, it's Nina, Exact right. Index. Like Nina Paper, N-E-E-N-A-H? N-E-E-H-A. Wait, let's see. I've got a pack of it over here, too. I used to work at FedEx office, so I know all about paper. Well, my, we have a paper bill in Munising, which oh, is wow. that... My son-in-law, it used to be actually, oh, the big paper mill. And then Nina Paper Mill bought them out. Oh. So I wondered if it's that, you know, I mean, I can't go get it there, but I wondered if that's how it felt like Nina. And then when the hospital, all the paper throwaway products from OR is usually from there too. But yeah, those are really cute. Too. Yeah. I, you, every time I every time you guys show me something, it's like, oh my goodness, I gotta try this for the kids. I got my kids are. It's like my my older kids are. My kids are gonna hate me because I told. Oh. <laughs> you know, right now I'm working on a big quilt, but you know, too throwing them in. So, so have you guys tried a a regular photo doing that? Ooh. No, but we can. Oh, I, mean, I was thinking like if you found a picture of let's say a grandkid mm -hmm. and uh, oh, remove on. the background. I'll, I'll get us a picture. Like remove the I'll... background on it and then do the same thing. Yeah. I, I might help if I touch an actual part of him. There we go. I kind of I right. seen some things on online about it. Well, when I was a kid, I remember Disney showing something about how they animated you know, before, of course, all this computer stuff, how they used to animate so many, like, yeah, cool. con -con. yeah so, so many of those little squares to what to make it look like something was moving. I had a picture of Patty in here. Uh oh, oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. Oh. Do a puppy dog. Yeah, those are, uh, we'll, we'll do one of those. Those are my friend Joanna that was in the flood in Kentucky and lost everything. Those are her little puppies. Oh, I could have given you my puppy. Well, send him to me. <laughs> that cute one. That, yeah, there she is. Oh, the no, that's awesome. All right. I'm uh, gonna... Let's go down with him. He's way too big. <laughs> is there an easy way to remove that background? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yep. It's called okay. Remove BG. Or if you've got an iPhone, you can remove it really easy, too. Really? Yes, iPhone has a, a thing in theirs now where it just removes the background just like that. Nothing to it. And then you send it to... Well, actually, all you do is sign into your iCloud on your computer and just get it from there. 
Okay. I'll show, I'm going to show. Let's see. Yeah. Let me stop my share. Do you do you see my puppy? I'm going oh, to blow you up. Oh, I thought I did. There you go. All right. So then what you do. All right. Is you push your finger on here. Yeah. Whoa. And it makes this little look at that. And I can it's just. Pull, oh, whoopsie. Mm -hmm. And then your options should pop up. Right. And so, but anyway, the, the, what, I, what I'm trying to show you is that all you have to do is hold your finger on here and you'll see this little like lightning thing go all around your image. And then you can just pull it right off. Let's see if I got to get rid of this. Pull your image off or the background? The, the image. image. Oh. So there she is. And now, oh, I can't do it because I can't see backwards. I <laughs> know. Oh. All right. There she is again. Let's see try this oh, i can't even see where i'm pointing okay yeah. i've got okay. her all right so where are you putting her then and then whoa oh i should have copied her and then you can put her anywhere you want to put her i guess so like it's i could save her right let's see what, let me try it myself and i can just see what i'm doing for just a sec because i'll tell you guys i do not as you know i'm i'm totally honest i didn't know what i was doing so I take the eraser out and I carefully erase around things that I haven't wanted, you know, and trying to like, it's like, there's got to be an easier way. Right. I'm looking. So hang on. I've used this before. Now all of a sudden I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next. Like you said. Okay. So I've got this. Uh, It's not, there we go. Okay, there. Share. Okay, I'm going to my pictures right now. I'm going to try it. I'm going to oh, send God. this. Tammy, I'm going to send this to you. See if you can. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so all you have to do is send it to yourself or send it. Because you can. Okay, so what I did was I have. I, what, geez, it's hard to do this. I have this picture. <laughs> okay. I hold my finger. And mm, 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 mm. let me try one more time, y'all. I keeps coming. Tammy, up. you should have my picture by now on your. So there. I oh, did. The I did. I'm Stop gonna it. hold on. Let me gonna, get you off of. Um, click on her. Mm -hmm. it's gonna make that lightning bolt around her if I was holding on it right. <laughs> and then I, it, I'll come up to something that says, "Okay, here we go." So I got her the lightning bolt, and I'm gonna just move her up here like this. And then it should say that I. Oops! Before I moved it. It says copy or share, and I just shared it to Tammy. And let me get out of here, and you can show her. <laughs> Maybe I can't get a lightning bolt. Oh, which uh, I wonder. What, I have the iPhone. Which what? iPhone? I wonder if you have to have a really new one. I have an. Mine's not five. the newest one, though. What do you have? Eight. I don't know what I have, honestly. <laughs> but okay, so maybe you can see right now. You really can't see what that says, but this little thing up here says copy or share. So oh. I could copy it and paste it, in, you know, in an email to myself, or I could share it to myself. Uh, and this is what it looks like. See how yeah, it took see. all the background away? Okay. Right. So did you copy it before you did that or copied it after? I, cop I held my finger down on it until the lightning bolt went all around it. And then as soon as I let go, an option came up, copy or share. And I clicked on share and I shared it to Tammy. Hmm. I guess I could. Huh. Let's see what else. All right. Oh, and looky, I just saved the image on my on my own phone, too. Huh. There she is without the stuff all around her. So let's see. Here she is. Hmm. All right. Are you when I it? hold it, I get a copy share favorite, but no lightning bolt. Huh. So I wonder and a delete. So if I copy have you updated your phone recently? Yeah. I'm... See right now, as soon as I let go, that lightning bolt's still going around her image, and I have copy or share. I'm gonna huh. copy. You actually, when you do that, you can save the image. But where, does it say, where does it say save though? See, when I click on mine, it gives me all those options. 
I can save it, assign it to a contact, print it out or whatever I want to. But where are you getting that? As soon as you hold your finger down and you get the so I hold my finger down. Right. Yeah. And then it pops up copy or share. It'll be the next thing that'll pop up. That's what I get. And yeah. then if you put sh click on share, then all your options to share pop up. Okay. I got that. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Save the image. Then you can save the image, assign it to contact, print, whatever, you know. Okay. So know. did you get the lightning bolt then finally? No, I did not get a lightning bolt though, but I did get those part of it. Well, just do that because sometimes you don't always see the lightning bolt. Hmm. Which you can see it on mine. I mean, I can see it, it, it goes around. This is me, but you see it going around and around. Yeah, right. me? See it. Okay. See it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. That's what it looks like. Here, what 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 years or what is your phone? Mine's a twelve Pro Max. I think huh. mine is also. Yeah. I wonder because mine's an. I'll have to, I'll have to, my son-in-law's a computer geek. I'm yeah, mine's a 12 it Pro Max. It shouldn't matter uh, if you've got the latest update. It shouldn't matter what model the phone is. Oh, if, really? If, you know, if your phone is new enough that it allows the updates. because the It does allow all the updates. I'm always a it, little nervous about hitting the update right away in case there's, because then that, right after you do it, there's glitches. You know, it's like, I, I don't know, because I hit mine. I'm, I'm an update. Are, are not update silhouette they always if well, you a lot I of times groups that say don't update don't update don't update i'm like oh too late i already update i'll just deal with the glitch just until they get through because i want to see what they got new <laughs> yeah see i'll update my brilliance and i updated my silhouette not that long ago again too and it was like okay i don't mind but i'm always nervous you know what i mean we used to have a party line i'm old <laughs> We had one too. Yeah. I'm old too. Yeah. So I mean, it's like it's so funny. My kid, my grandkids don't even know what regular phone or regular right. phones are because they all use these electronic things. Yes. Mm. I was trying to look it up to see if it said you had to have a certain iPhone or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I just have like so many questions. You know, I'm. Sorry. Well, that keeps us on our toes and has oh a, no I'm but like, you like, know it's funny because when she was into the part where she had the screen up and she was getting ready she was setting up the page the last the third page that you're on uh -huh. it goes calibrate or you know how it says what size what's uh when first of all you're going to hit on marks right right Turn and, on registration marks. Yep, registration marks. Then down below, this one person, I told you I go to all these things. She um she said to keep it as large as you can. All right, if you go to your registration marks, maybe I can talk you to what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah, don't your change paper. the size. Oh, okay. your dog is so cute. Oh, it's anyways, not mine, friends. But if you go to set up the last page. Right, that's where she is. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, but go to the one where, it go yeah, that registration one. Okay. What she does are I turn my um, lines as thick as I can. Oh, no, don't mess with that. I've never had to do that. Well, either. you know what? Okay. Well, they recommended it if you're having trouble, like I said, with the reading of the registration. So I thought, okay. I could not figure out why I could not get it to line up. And then I finally. A lot of times when you go start messing with that stuff it'll mess it up to where when you go to print it it's not going to cut it right and all this kind of stuff but i've never I, I never change mine i'll just leave it the same Do you leave it inset at zero i don't leave it right where it comes in where where the oh, default is i never too. mess with it yep, me too. i don't care if i'm cut I, I don't care if i'm printing cutting a little bitty tiny dog like that, which I wouldn't because okay. what I do is I, I, I make a bunch of them in case I make a mistake. Uh -huh. And then if I got anything else to print, I'll, I'll fill it with that and then print and cut. But I never mess with that because once you start, silhouette machines are, and they'll tell you, you shouldn't have to calibrate your machine. Oh, yeah, that's you know, it. it's something that you shouldn't have to do. You know, that's I mean, if you go on their page and read, it'll tell you that that's the last resort. But like I said, turn your just set it back 
to default, turn okay. your machine off, take your carriage and slide it back and forth three times and then try your print and cut again. And you do want to make sure that you got plenty of light. I mean, it don't have to be lit up, you know. I was just going to say that. But it needs enough light that it can, those sensors can read those yep. marks. But the thing makes a light too. So it I've does. Got a lot of light you either. don't have to be, I've heard a lot of people say that they shine lights on it. And, and they close the, the top. And oh, they close the top. I, yeah. I've never had to do none of that kind of yeah. stuff. Okay. If mine starts giving me trouble, and it has, uh, uh, it's been a long time, but it has, you know, said that it didn't uh, get the, you read the registration marks. Registration failed is what I say. Right. Yeah. What I've learned to do is, like I said, I turn my machine off. I move that carriage three times. I turn my machine back on and send it through there and wham, it goes to While we're talking, I'm going to turn it off and do it. <laughs> this, this hey, is not gonna work. I told you if you tell me to stand on my head, I will. <laughs> the reason we can't use this picture. Now, let me explain to you. Why oh. we, we need a sprite image, which is two things that's in two different poses. This is just a single dog. He's not going to oh, work. Okay, I'll send different. my dog with the tongue out and the tongue not out. Okay, we can do that. I'll try it. Let's see. I'm gonna send it to you. Right. I'm gonna message it to you. Okay. 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 I'm gonna okay. stop the share so I can go get it. Cause let me see. Actually, I think I already sent you the mom with her tongue out, didn't I? Lord knows where it's at. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's me in the background. I'll. I recognize that noise. So you'll need to remove the background maybe on the first one I'm sending. So they'll make their heads about the same size, perhaps. I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah, one has their tongue out, I said. Wait, I got you two of them. They're there. They should be coming. I wonder if the tongue's enough. I got one that's right, and then I got the other one. I'm going to have to remove the background. Oh, the yep. two? No, they both have their background removed that I sent, I think. No, the first she one. Had three pictures. Oh, you got three? Okay. You I only should have three. I've sent three. Okay. Let me find the other one. It must be above. Okay. I'm going to delete the one in the center. Yeah. I'm, well, not delete it, but I'm not going to. I know it. what you mean. Yeah. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> Let us see your silhouette when you get to doing it. More. That would be cute if you can do it, but I don't know. Maybe Roxy's too. Yeah, if her name's so loud. She's sleeping right there. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I got to go back and get the other one. I, I downloaded that one. Now I go get the other one and download it. See, this is fun when we try new stuff. <laughs> we experiment. Okay. I got the second one. Okay. Now I've got to bring them into my. Yeah, we want to snoop on your silhouette. So when you get a chance. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. All right. File, merge. Gotta find those. I buttons. guess that would be something you could use like oh. a video where you can get the clips. Okay, hold on a second and I will share my screen. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. Share. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to file, and I want it on the same page, so I'm going to merge them merge, in there. Yeah, merge, right. and I'm going to grab that one and bring it in, and I'm, go oh. and I'm, I'm going <laughs> to have my pooch. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of pooch? She's called a, oh my gosh, I can't think. She's a doodle. Oh, I okay. got two doodles. Wait, King Charles Cavalier, a cavapoo. Oh, yep, I see it now. Yeah, we have two oh, I can't do it. Good. Yeah, it's right in my way. Oh, All right. And they don't know what you're you're talking about, but I do. Y'all don't know when you're in charge of doing the video. There's these big boxes that get in your way, and you can't see the whole screen. Right. So that's what she's always saying. I gotta move this out of my way, and we're like, we don't see anything, but I okay. know. Oh, look at her mm -hmm. little face. She precious. Okay. The first <laughs> thing I'm going to do to her is the same thing I do any, anybody else. See that white behind her? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to trace her. I'm going to go here and I'm going to trace her. 
<laughs> the other thing you might want to do is make her make them about the same size if you can. I wonder if this. Yeah, is I will after I trace them. I wonder if it's going to trace very well. Yeah, it's going to. Yeah. Sure. Trace and detach. Okay. okay. Any day now. So, <clears throat> wow. Oh, brother. All those evil pieces. <laughs> those little tiny yeah. squares. Yeah, right. Remember when they would drive us nuts, Tammy? Yes. Remember when we used to didn't know no better and we would have yes. the, the mm -hmm. thing right on top of it and then it would have a yellow outline? Yes. It's like, why does it draw that box? You can't do it. Mm -hmm. We just needed our thing bigger. Wow. Live and learn. That's been a few years ago, Patty. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm flies when you have fun. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna move her. her, and then yeah, and then grab all that. There they are. Look at them all. Okay, so now let's put them together. Or it might be better just to see. She's five point oh three, so let's make her the same. Up, oh, it's only at five. It's probably just because one's closer in, so you just might have to stretch one in or shrink one down. I think we'll just leave them like they are. I think it's going to work fine. It's so close in size that I think it'll work fine. We're not even going to worry about that white because they're going to be on a white background, this part of the white. So, uh, but they're too big. We can't even get them inside our card that big. Let's shrink her down just a little bit because we can't shrink her down after we're done. <laughs> All right, let's make her about like that. Look at her tongue. I <laughs> So the next thing we got to do is go grab us a grid. That's right. Duplicate. <laughs> Copy and paste it over here. And then hold my alt key down and get me one. And she's still too big. Mm -hmm. so let's, let's put them together and shrink them some more. Of course, she's not going to be moving from side to side. Just her tongue is going to go in. No, over. but she's got to fit inside the grid. She was too tall. Because the thing is only five inches high, and I had her. Uh, yeah. That ought to be plenty big enough. Yeah. All right. So here's the first one. I still think. Um, Bring to the front just to be sure. Hmm. Grab them both and go over here to the modify panel. And subtract and group. Jeez, I don't think this is going to work for you. Yep, I do. It's too light. <laughs> now we're going to move it, it over here. It's too it's so light. And the, here's the thing: it might work on the computer and look like it's beautiful on the computer. <coughs> and then when you put it on paper and put that grid in front of it, <coughs> I done a ballerina that was really pink and fluffy. And she she moved beautifully <coughs> on the computer. But once I put that black on top of her, and I even tried it with a light color, she just didn't show up good. So let's grab a grid, hold my alt key down, and get me another one. She don't have to move. She's too cute. She can just stay like she is. <laughs> She's so white. I know, right? <laughs> let's group that. So now let's bring this over and let me blow it up so y'all can see her good. And so I can see her good. And we want to take this and line her head up. But we want to make sure we get it like That's that. <clears throat> and we're going to group that. Mm. So we now didn't line up her head. Did her left side of her head, I guess. I did. I lined up her head. Yeah. I tried to. Yeah, it's just one of the heads is bigger than the other. That's why. Yeah, and you're gonna see this extra, but that don't really matter. You okay. see how you see how this down here has got nothing behind it. Right. It's okay. It'll be all right. So let's lower it and find our grid, and let's see if her tongue will stick in and out. I'll <laughs> say it does. She's licking the screen. She's licking the screen. Yeah. And I think it would have worked well if we had made her head the same size. You know what I mean? Yeah. Goes smaller and bigger. <clears throat> That's okay. cute. That is cute. That's possible. That. 
You want me to go back and make her head bigger? Nah. Okay. Unless everybody else wants you to to see if it works better. That is cute. cute. It's yeah. cute. Uh, what do you think, Janet? Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Oh, wow. Let's see this curve put together. All right, let's stop the share. There we go. So here we go. Yeah, this this takes a minute to put this thing together. I did the tedious this tedious part first. This is acetate, and I taped it to this side. Oh, wait, and let me get spotlight for everybody. Okay, my dog's gonna start growling because somebody's. Hey, how come I can't see it? It won't let me. It's got one of my little pieces that go for the stopper inside there. Oh, how did it get in there? Yeah, I gotta call my husband and tell him turn his. <laughs> Where is my tweezers? Yeah, I hear you whining. Can you hear her barking? Somebody's caught an alarm on their cars going off. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a little bitty tiny piece of uh, acetate that, that I'm going to use, and it got stuck behind there somehow. I don't know how it jumped up there behind it. Y'all could probably can't even see it. It don't really matter. You need to push it up. To I, I need my tweezers. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. It's not like you can see it. I'll dig it out later. Okay. So anyway, what you want to do when you put your acetate on here, what I do to make sure that I put it in the right place, I lay my acetate down and then I run my tape so that I know that it's going to be behind here. I run it right to the edge, the tape all the way around to the very edge. And I use the slimmer tape because you don't want it to, um, you don't want to use the big pieces here because it messed that up. So I just use this. So that acetate is taped to the back of this grid. So the next thing we're going to do is you've got two of these, remember? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to glue these two pieces together. And I'll try to go pretty fast so that. <laughs> wow, I can't even more see that in the bat in the so, so we're just gluing those two pieces together. So this one, I just, I, I'm going to put on a five by seven card, but like I told you before, there's a back piece that you can make that would be the same as that. And you could actually put it on that and you don't have to have it on the card. <laughs> It's just a five by seven card base that I made. So what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on this one again. We'll glue the back side of this one. And we're going to glue it to this. So all we got to do is line it up. And I have to put it right in my face so I can see it. I will tell you that on the one that I make without the card base, I tend to shorten these things because I make them out of white card stock and that is other is black. And if I don't and don't get it right, you can really see it. So I glued those to the card base. Now, the next thing you're going to do. It, is take your image, and like I said, my cardstock I printed on was thin, so I took a heavy piece of cardstock and I just glued the two together. You want to lay your image in there. Now, you're going to have two pieces of acetate, and you're going to, I should have done this before. So you're going to take this acetate, and you're going to take that skinny tape, Can you move it down towards your belly just a tiny bit when you're using it? Yeah, there we go. 
And you're going to take and put a piece of that acetate on, I mean, a piece of that tape on the acetate. And I'm using my good scissors because it's faster. I'll just have to clean them. And you're going to do that on two of the pieces of acetate and two, two pieces of cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tape on all of it so I can be through with the tape for now. So. Then you got the two pieces of cardstock that are the same size. Another favor, if you can link that tape, I've never seen that before either. <laughs> okay. It's sure, we'll do. Yeah. It's stronger than the other tape. And since they're going to be pulling on that card a lot, you'll need something strong. And acetate and glue don't play well together, so that's why you need the tape. So what we're going to do with these is we're going to take the acetate, we're going to turn it over and take the top off, which is never fun. There we go. And we're going to put our image in there like it goes. And we're going to take and the part that's got the acetate on it. I keep going up there, Patty. Sorry. And we're going to go in that corner and we're going to tape it down to our image. And we're going to do the same thing on the bottom with the other piece of acetate. Hold it down, and it doesn't really matter if it um, where it's at on there. I mean, as far as the image and the acetate, because you can't see it because it's clear anyway. But you want to tape it to your image, just a little bit, the little piece that's got the tape. Tape it to your image. Then you're going to take this cardstock and tape it to this white piece up here to the part I glued down. And you're gonna go all the way to the end and you're gonna tape, put that piece of tape there and put it there. And you're gonna do the same thing to the bottom. Can you see it? Can you see where, where I'm putting it? Yeah, it yeah. looks like for guides. Yeah. Just remember that the cardstock on the goes to the end that opens up and it tapes to this white frame. It does not tape to the image. The acetate tapes to the image. So the only thing left to do is we've got to put tape on there and we got to tape this to that, right? So what you need to do is instead of putting the tape on the grid, Put the tape on here so you can see because you can't put tape on these on these pieces it's got to go up to the top and you only want to tape three sides you do not want to put tape on this end because that's the end that has to open i made an entire card and taped the whole thing shut and had to start all over yep I've been there, done that. <laughs> i ain't done it yet but i'm sure i will <laughs> So you want to run this up at the top so that you avoid taping that piece of acetate because you do not want to put it on the acetate. So is that two-sided, that tape? Huh? Is yes, it, it is. Yes, yes it, it is. is. <laughs> and I put a link in the chat area. Okay. Will I be able to catch all this after, like, you know, on the real Oh, yeah, it's recording. Oh, yes. But I mean, like, all that. Um, stuff, I hope so. But you know what? I'll put it in the 
the email that shows you the link for the video. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're putting the information in the chat if you if right. you see it. Okay, and so I can um like when I replay it, it'll be in the chat. Then mm -hmm. I can. Okay, thanks. No. No, no, it won't be. No, because you be. won't have no access to the chat to open it up and it's not on the screen. So Patty oh. said she'll put it in an email for you. And oh, okay. so when you read your email, it'll be in there. Okay. But you can't see the chat from the video because it's, pro you know, it don't show up. Okay. You, you'll, you'll be able to hear us talking and you'll see what I'm doing and, and what everybody's doing but you won't be able to see the, read the chat in the video, in the recording. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, no. I need to just be able to hit on the links because I can't do all that at once right now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take this red tape. Just so that I make sure that it don't stick in there. I'm, yeah, it's, it's not going to. Okay, just wanted to make sure. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. Ah. Don't you hate that? You hadn't done that all day. You got to pull the top off and the tape keeps coming up too. the whole thing. Here we go. Yeah. That's funny because I do notice some of the people I've been watching, they have big honking nails. And I'm thinking now I know why people keep nails. <laughs> <laughs> Nursing, we never kept nails. You know, we came yeah. down to nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't do nails either. Mine grow super fast and I cut them off as soon as they get any length to them. Your yeah. little weeding tool might help if you don't have nails and you can't get it started. Yeah, I haven't been having no trouble getting it started. I don't know. Right. Yeah. I've been doing it all morning. So, <laughs> what I do with a lot of things is like, why don't that just like um when you're working with those blanks and you're trying to get it's like <laughs> does it have plastic on or does it not have plastic on? <laughs> trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. Yeah. Before plastic. you before you close it. Before you put your thing on, make sure that your is not stuck in the glue in the tape. Make sure it's not, and it's okay if it's if it seems like it's going to. Take your scissors and clip that acetate down a little bit to just to make sure because you do not want it to stick in that tape and get stuck because then it's not going to move. I'm going to trim mine down just a tad bit, not much, but there we go. Now. Now I know it's not gonna, it's not gonna stick. So then, ow. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my my grid that's got the acetate on the back and line it up. And put it down. And it could have went up just a tad bit higher, but no biggie. So then what I've done is I made me a little pull thing. Just a little in the little in the software, you've got okay. the shape, and I just made the shape and I wrote pull on it, made the inside white. So what I have done is I take a pen or a pencil, whatever you got handy. And I know I don't want the tape to go no further than here. So I just draw me a little line there because nobody's going to see it because this is going to be on top of it. And of course, the pen didn't write. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so then I take a little piece of tape. And I put it in that part that that's too big. I should have got a smaller one. Get off that scissors. There we go. And I want it to fit in between those lines. If it's longer, cut it off because you do not want it to stick to the other part or it won't open. There we go. Ah. Come 
Come off. <laughs> I had no trouble this morning getting this off, and now all of a sudden it was just thick. There we go. Then I just take my pull tab and line it up with that thing, and it's an inch. The pull tab is an inch round, and the cutout is an inch too, so it should line up pretty good. And stick it there. And we have a card. So here's what I got to do. I've got to change over to my other camera. There we go. So here we go. So then you want to take this. And the first couple of times you do it, it might be a little hard. But do it a couple of times. And then by the time you give it away. Horse. Let me see what I've done. Wow. <laughs> I knew it would do something crazy. <laughs> of course. The others was like a dream. I mean, I literally made that little puppy one in no time this morning. It's sticking to something. Anyway. I don't know what what it's catching on. <clears throat> That's so irritating. It ain't like you can take it out and start over. You just have to throw the whole thing away. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, it ain't no fun. I'm making it go in there, but it gets to that one point. <gasps> you know what it is? That little tiny piece of, um, that's what it is. You remember I told you there was a little piece stuck in between there? It is sticking and it's stopping my thing from sliding. <laughs> You remember I told you I had a little piece that was trout? Oh, yeah. And well, I couldn't get it out? I should have got it out. Because <laughs> oh. now it's stuck in there. Hmm. But anyway, here's the completed one. See? And that thing I put in there, the acetate and the cardstock, it stops it from, slide, from coming out. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, very nice. And here's the bird one. Mm. Yep. And there you have it. Yeah, very <laughs> cute. And I'll work on the one I just made and try to get that little piece of plastic out. But you see how easy it is to put together, and it normally yeah. works. <laughs> but of course, you it's know. okay. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. I'm not even surprised. Oh. Did you know that that's how it goes? Stop the recording, Patty. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that's how.